so what innuendo and euphemism and indirect speech acts do is they prevent the proposition from being common knowledge. Mm -hmm. they, uh, that is, you know, let's say he said, do you want to come up for Netflix and chill? And she says, no, you know, she's a grown up. She knows that this was a sexual uh, invitation and, you know, he's a grown up. He knows it too. But does he know that she knows that he knows it? He can still mm -hmm. think, um, well, maybe she thinks I'm dense. Maybe I. she thinks that I don't know that she knowingly turned down a sexual invitation. And as far as she's concerned, I might think that she just didn't want to uh, uh, stay out late. And she could think, well, maybe he thinks I'm naive. Maybe he thinks that I just didn't want to uh, uh, be out late. And he might think I'm just turning down an invitation just for, for Netflix. Right. Without the common knowledge, the he knows that I know that he knows that I know, they can maintain the fiction of a purely platonic friendship without sacrificing their claim to rationality and sanity. Right. Uh, if it had been blurted out, hey, do you want to have sex? Um, and you know, and and if she were to say no then they can't maintain the fiction of a purely platonic friendship or colleagues at work, or even more dangerously, a supervisor and supervisee. Um, and so we use indirect speech, uh, I argue, to um, keep things out of common knowledge, uh, out of right. relationship-threatening common knowledge. 